Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to this new vlog. I hope you guys are doing good. So currently we are alongside in one of the port in Vietnam and it was very short stay here, four and a half hours only. And engine room got uh, their one hour notice. So they are preparing the main engine and I'm here for doing some routine checks. And uh, today in this video, we will talk about some special topics and special question that has been asked in the comment section. So guys, uh, this is on demand video. All these uh, newly graduated uh, electrical engineers who are coming to join the ship. So they are asking about the jobs and responsibility of an electrical engineer. What are the jobs and uh, duties electrical engineer performs on board so that they can get familiarized themselves before coming on board. So I thought, okay, let's make a one video. So many electrical cadets and viewers, they asked me to make an, a video on this topic. Guys, this is a small ship, so I don't have uh, extra assistance or electrical cadet. Otherwise, I would have shared his personal uh, experience with you. Uh, but definitely, I will share some good, important tips and uh, things that you can take care before coming on board. Or uh, I will give you a little bit overview that how the electrical cadets life on board. So without wasting any time, let's start this video. So guys, before going ahead, I would like to show you these beautiful mountains and uh, nature that we have been surrounded by here in Da Nang, Vietnam. So let's go to Monkey Island of the ship. So guys, look at this uh, beautiful and peaceful nature. And uh, there are some uh, fishing vessel, fishing boats. They are waiting with their fishing nets. And the mountains are really very far, but I think you can see it there. And uh, they are looking so beautiful when you zoom it. Let me zoom it a little bit so that you can clearly see it. And this is another mountain which is a little bit taller than other ones. It is completely green and uh, looking amazing guys. Let me know in the comment section that if you like it. And guys uh, that one is the bulk carrier. Uh, the black color thing. So that is a bulk carrier and uh, right now I can see they are loading some cargo. But it's really very far so I cannot see exactly what they are loading. So let me zoom it little bit guys so that you can have more clear picture. So that's the accommodation of this vessel. And there are some conveyor belts which are loading the cargo inside their holds. And there is another breath holding view of this green mountain. It's looking really beautiful. Guys let me know in the comment section. I would like to know your views. And there I can see plenty Vietnamese naval vessels. There are a number of them. So guys uh, that's not all uh, now I'm going to show you beautiful time lapse that I took while approaching to this port Da Nang Vietnam so let's enjoy that time lapse together First of all, I would like to tell you about the working hours of an electrical engineer. So usually the electrical engineer starts his uh, working day in the morning 8 o'clock and he works till 1700 in the evening. But before knocking off, he need to make sure that all the machineries and equipment wherever he was working is back to normal. Because it is very important to put all the machinery in standby mode or in a start or in a ready to operate mode during sailing. Secondly, the electrical engineer can be called any time wherever his presence is needed to fix any equipment or electrical machinery. Because there are many uh, electrical equipment and machineries which are very critical and has to be run all the time. So you need to fix it as soon as possible. It's a really big pressure but uh, you need to make yourself calm and focus on your problem. And uh, I can assure you guys when you fix that problem you know that time you will have a very nice feeling inside you. Eat you. 
electro technical officer plays very important role for the smooth operation of the ship and the maneuvering of the ship so he has uh, many jobs and responsibility that i'm going to tell you now <clears throat> so guys i will talk about electrical engineer on container vessel so the first priority of uh, electrical engineer on container vessel is to diligently take care maintain and troubleshoot the reefer cargoes this is his first responsibility so whenever the reefer cargo get loaded you need to check the temperature of the unit and tally it with your manifest and other uh, verification documents where you can check the set points supply sensor uh, temperature supply sensor temperature return sensor temperature and uh, there are many parameters that you need to be confirm whether they are okay as per your manifest and the plan in time to time you need to take inventory of uh, reefer spare parts so that you can make sure that all the reefer spare parts are on board and if you get any trouble or problem you can fix it because uh, without spare part there is no option to fix that reefer and the next one is guys as i told you the electrical engineer plays very important role for the smooth operation of our ship so he is overall uh, responsible of electrical system for carrying out the maintenance routine inspections and uh, keeping the documents regarding maintenance and uh, other works and uh, managing the automation equipment uh, like uh, alarm and monitoring system to ensure the safety of the ship and uh, other equipment the next one is the uh, navigation and communication equipments uh, you need to make sure that all the gps radar and other electronic equipments are in good order or ready to use and uh, managing the power system efficiently and uh, optimize the energy on vessel so guys the electrical engineer doesn't have a fixed working area electrical engineer can be work anywhere from forward to all the way aft and from the bottom of the cargo hold to the forward mast so guys i would not be wrong if i say that electrical engineer plays a critical role for maintaining the electrical and electronic equipment on board ensuring safety and supporting the smooth operation of the various equipment on board So guys uh, now talk about the electrical cadet right now i don't have electrical cadet on board because uh, i'm on a small vessel so i'm one man army here but uh, in uh, my past i have trained uh, four to five cadets so guys uh, i would say the electrical cadets doesn't have a responsibility as such except to fill their tar book properly and uh, learn as much as possible follow the electrical engineer instructions and familiarize yourself with ship as good as you can and uh, there are plenty manuals on ship regarding all the machinery so find that manuals read it understand them if you have any doubt just ask the electrical engineer for any doubt if he knows then he will explain you otherwise he can learn and then he can explain you back and uh, on board life life wise on board there are very good amenities on board you will not miss anything except your family and uh, seafarers community are very very friendly and guys with my experience i can tell you the best way to learn more and more is to ask questions so if you have any doubt or anything related to anything just ask and follow your instructor your electrical engineer here i want to mention one thing that what is the expectation of an electrical engineer from an electrical cadet right like you are coming from a college you have a fresh knowledge so you have very good opportunity to learn all the machineries and equipments very fast how they work what are their operation what is their working principle and uh, what kind of problem they get and uh, what is the solution for them you just need to observe the electrical engineer whenever he was working when on any machinery and uh, 
later if you have any doubt you can ask it last but not least i would like to say all the best to all the cadets who are coming to join the ship tight your shoes and start the new journey so that's all guys if you still have any doubt or any question you let me know in the comment section i would definitely love to reply them so guys and now it's time to show you the departure time lapse from the danang vietnam So guys, uh, I hope you would have liked this video so far. If yes, uh, please let me know your feeling and feedback in the comment section. And if you want me to continue making these kind of videos, then please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, share this channel as much as possible, so that I can grow this channel together with you, and we can make a big family on YouTube. And till then, do good things in your life, help each other, and see you in the next video. Tata, bye bye.